Good morning, Commissioners. Uh, my name is Robert J. Carnes. I'm the warden at the Loving County Correctional Facility. Uh, to my left is Brian McIntyre, the son of Edward McIntyre. To my right, or to my right is uh, Marilyn McIntyre, Ed McIntyre's wife. We're here, um, you know, to request uh, a recommendation to have our academy changed. And with that said, I'll read a prepared statement if I if I could, please. In recent months, I've lamented in recommending the renaming of the Lemon County Correctional Facility. Uh, training Academy for historical and personal reasoning involving the founder of LCCF's training program. LCCF's first training officer and director of training was Edward B. McIntyre, who served the facility from 1974 to April of 2004. During Ed's tenure at LCCF in the early 1980s, he convinced then Warden Robert Rager the value of a training program for correctional staff. Warden Rager agreed and permitted Ed the opportunity to conduct training classes in addition to his responsibilities as a shift sergeant. Oftentimes in the infancy stages of training correctional officers, Ed was not compensated for his time conducting classes. Nevertheless, he continued realizing the need after observing the changing trends in corrections that demanded a professionally trained staff. In 1987, Ed was appointed the county by the county commissioners LCCF's first training coordinator and soon after established an annual training schedule. During this time frame, Ed was founded the first emergency response team known as ERT unit and currently the CERT team, which I was privileged to be a member of. In October of 1989, the state correctional institution at Camp Hill experienced a devastating inmate riot causing millions of dollars of structural damage. LCCF's emergency response team was one of the responding units to this riot, and leading the team was Ed McIntyre. In response to the, respond in response to the Camp Hill riot, newly appointed PA Department of Corrections Secretary Martin Horn uh, commissioned the development of uh, emergency response program throughout the state correctional system known today as the CERT program. In early 1990s, Ed McIntyre and Sergeant Carnes were commissioned by Secretary Horn to sit on a panel that would be responsible for selecting the PA Department of Corrections' first rifle specialist team and as well as their hostage rescue team. My involvement only transpired because of Ed McIntyre's recommendation and the respect he commanded throughout the Pennsylvania State Department of Corrections. As I recently told Ed personally, current and past correctional staff trained by him throughout Pennsylvania owe a large part of our careers to his consistent mentoring, leadership, encouragement, and his unwavering commitment to excellence. <clears throat> Unfortunately, that conversation transpired at the London VA Medical Center Hospice Unit in the presence of his family. Ed is a decorated three-tour Army Ranger combat veteran of the Vietnam War, and unfortunately, Ed's days are coming to a close on this earth. But we all know his memory and his contribution to his family, to his country, and his fellow correctional staff will not be forgotten anytime soon. Considering the previously mentioned, and because Ed was so quickly, so was so quick to shy from recognition of achievement, I would like to respectfully recommend, in the presence of his family, as well as his correctional family, that on this date, February 6, 2020, the Board of Commissioners take formal action in renaming the LCCF Training Academy to the Edward B. McIntyre Officer Training Academy. I truly believe this not only places a name on the current Training Academy, but reinforces the rich historical value correctional staff can appreciate and recognize when training to be a professional as Ed always envisioned. On behalf of Ed's family, friends, and correctional staff present and past, it is with a heavy heart I sincerely thank you for considering this recommendation and request. It should be noted a commemorative plaque is currently being designed to honor Ed and shall be displayed in the Academy training area for all officers to view. Again, Commissioners, I thank you for your time and thank you for allowing me to make this recommend a well-deserved recommendation. Thank you. I'd like to seek a motion to approve that uh, designation. I'll be pleased to, to make that motion in, in honor of uh, Mr. McIntyre and at the request of the board. 
I'll second the motion with pleasure. And again, to the family, thank you for being here today. And um, I, I'll keep you in my prayers as you proceed with the coming days, weeks, whatever. Thank you. You're welcome. Thank you. Commissioners, if I could add one last thing. Uh, I've been in contact with uh, Deputy, Deputy uh, excuse me, Secretary John Wetzel of the Department of Corrections. Uh, and he has offered a proclamation in and and, and Ed McIntyre's honor, knowing that he himself personally, as well as his number two man in charge, uh, Executive Deputy Secretary Tad Bickle, both uh, experienced training from Ed McIntyre. So he is more than willing. He, offer, he extended that to offer a proclamation, which will be forwarded to the family, and I thought that should be noted. And I thank you again. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, we have a motion and a second on the floor, and I just would like to add thank you for uh, recognizing the, the need for this and the strength that it took to do it, and uh, appreciate everybody being here in uh, Ed's honor. Thank you. Thank you, Commissioner. Any other comment or question? If not, all in favor of the motion, please indicate by saying aye. 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 Opposed, same sign, so ordered. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Do you have anything to say, Marlon? <laughs> How about you, Brian? I appreciate it. Ned was very dedicated, and he enjoyed his time at the prison. Yeah, I appreciate it also. My dad never, <laughs> never uh, looks for recognition. Uh, he, he always enjoyed the time that he worked at the prison. I actually joked around because I used to. I grew up in the prison. <laughs> I used to tell everybody I, I did a lot of homework at the prison because he did a lot of his night training, uh, and I would. Uh, go with him and, and be in his office, and I spent a lot of time there myself. Uh, but he was always very dedicated, and he loved what he did. He loved every minute of it. So, well, thank you. And I want to per uh, publicly thank both Brian and his wife because he has, uh, they have made the sacrifice of allowing us and those of me, be uh, those those of us behind me who have all been trained by Ed. Uh, the, the time with him when he could have been with his family because of his commitment to the facility and the county he was willing to relinquish the, relinquish that time and I'm sure it cut down the family time so I want to public publicly thank both Marilyn and Brian for allowing us to have that privilege because we're all better people because of Ed McIntyre and his son has followed in his footsteps he's a he's a police officer in the lower Paxton uh, uh, police department for the last 15 years so his son has done him proud, and, and we're proud. We're proud of him as well. What Thank a great you. legacy! Absolutely. That's, uh, what a, an outstanding person. Thank you, Warden. You're welcome. Thank you, Thank you again for your Thank time. Thank you. Thank you. <clears throat>